Kia ora guys, welcome back to New Zealand. Really enjoyed the last video, it was something a bit different for me. I've, I've done a bit of astrophotography in the past, always enjoy it. So the last video, we had too much cloud, so we never really got to see any stars. We had quite a, quite a wet, miserable, stormy day yesterday, which made a couple of, uh, which made at least one nice photograph actually, quite like that one. Big old storm cloud rolling in. Uh, so I got a, got a bit of a shot of that, and then today has been absolutely crystal clear, not a cloud, beautiful day. So tonight we're going to try some astrophotography. Similar settings to last time, same camera, same lens, same setup effectively. I'll put the setting on the screen somewhere so you know what, uh, what settings I'm using. I can't wait, it's going to be, going to be pretty cool. I'm just driving down some rural roads in the foothills of the mountain range and I'm just trying to scope out a couple of trees it's going to stand out quite well as a foreground uh, as a foreground element to what hopefully is going to be quite a nice starry shot in the background yeah, those trees look quite cool we're, we're about an hour and a half two hours away from sunset so I've got a little bit of time I'm just going to push on further down the road uh, on the way down here just just by chance I dropped on a historical reenactment of the arrival of the first European settlers in this area in 1862 I believe and a, a group of people all in sort of period costume riding up the hills and the, uh, the rural roads and things like that and it looked pretty cool so I managed to get a couple of photographs of that. quite a nice little event quite uh, quite cool all right guys so uh, from here I'm just gonna push on a little bit further down the road see if I can get another subject I'd like to get two different areas at least two different areas to shoot this evening that one behind me is quite a definite one They're quite bare quite skeletal quite cool now looking up there we just got I'm just looking at the moon and we've probably got maybe maybe a quarter moon just over a quarter of a moon so there's gonna be quite a lot of light pollution effectively for Milky Way shots but we'll, we'll see, we'll see failing that we'll have some nice moonlit landscapes either way it's going to be good alright guys let's crack on So I've pushed on another 10 minutes to the foot of the Rohini mountain range. Unfortunately, the track is closed at the moment for, uh, for maintenance. This is a great indication of why Hawke's Bay, our region, gets so much good weather. Because the prevailing weather pattern comes from the west off, off the Tasman Sea. And the weather generally gets stuck on the, uh, the mountain ranges, the Rohini's this side and the Kawika range a little bit further along. This is a perfect indi perfect indication today because you've got absolutely crystal clear skies out behind me to the east and to the west stuck on top of the mountains you've got some pretty uh, pretty grim weather up there. You can't actually see the main mountain peaks 
you just see the uh, the foothills the foothills in the foreground we're maybe an hour an hour and a half away from sunset a little bit colder down here it's quite a stiff breeze blowing off the mountain tops and it's quite a cool breeze actually as well so uh, i'm gonna get some warmer clothes on and uh, get a coffee so we're just about on sunset now there wasn't much color in the clouds unfortunately from this location we're gonna get a couple of couple of different examples of evening photography evening night photography first thing we're gonna do is get some blow hour shots i think they're gonna work pretty pretty cool uh, after the blow hour shots we're going to hang about another hour or so after blow hour and uh, we'll get a few star shots i've not even looked online to see where the milky way is going to rise this evening i don't know whereabouts in the sky it's going to be unfortunately where i am now i've got no internet access so uh, perfect planning and preparation unfortunately is not me so piss poor performance is what we've got uh, anyway we'll just hit and hope fingers crossed we get a bit of a shot just going to set the nick on up take a few uh, blowout shots it's not quite there yet still got a still got a little while to go before blowout really kicks in still a little bit too much uh, light in the sky at the moment i've got a 50 millimeter prime lens on the body and that's one of my favorites one of my favorite lenses actually it is tack sharp it's beautiful I'll tell you what though bloody hell it's uh, it's coming cold definitely into blow hour now i'm gonna swap out this lens and put a 28 to 70 on with the 50 millimeter being just a little bit too wide for what i want i reckon this 28 to 70 pulled into the 70 millimeter will just will be a lot better will be just what i need i'm just trying my best to isolate a couple of the peaks that i can see but unfortunately they're not standing out too well because of the uh, because of because of the clouds okay see what that one says that one's quite nice oh yeah i like that okay so the 70 millimeter is definitely better iso 200 2.5 seconds at f8 two second timer do your best Let's have a look at that bad boy. Oh yeah, that's better, that's better. But I'll tell you what, if this is an indication, once it does get dark and we get the uh, and we get the stars coming out, that will make quite a nice shot. I don't know if you've seen this too well. There's a big old tree there, and now he has. And my idea is to get a shot of that against the against the dark night sky hopefully we're going to get a few stars behind it looking back towards the rangers unfortunately it's not working out as i uh, as i hoped now guys i'm pretty sure you're not getting any of this if you are i bet it looks bloody scary actually dark there's quite a bit of moonlight actually more than i expected and that's that's okay because uh, at the minute i'm getting some lovely shots there's a, a small bank of cloud behind this here tree the stars are standing out beautifully looks like a gorgeous blue sky even though it's pitch black to the naked eye and uh, what i'm doing i'm trying to hide the moon behind the uh, behind the trunk of this tree just to uh, because it's coming out too bright it's really coming out too bright it's only a crescent moon but it's, it's really glowing glowing quite brightly uh, so I'm, I'm making some nice shots actually i'm, I'm quite uh, quite impressed with it using the torch here in my hand well, hey there you go the torch in the hand to light up the tree during the exposure and it's oh man, beautiful at this point it became too much of a hassle to vlog so i continued shooting for a while enjoying the photographs i was making and then i moved to my initial location down by the river that shot with the trees really didn't work and then I turned to the east, facing my van, and I saw this. You really have got to love my home amongst the stars. <laughs> 